guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bring to episode two of To Your Eternity. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Mm. I'm not ready to cry over this again. Love. And I am a Jesus. God, that's beautiful. Please don't make me cry again today. <laughs> oh. Holy! It's not about making me fucking cry. <laughs> All her damn songs make me cry or something. Oh. 
Unfortunately, not from a long time from now, honey. Because <laughs> she looks like, what, maybe four, five, six? Oh, don't worry, Marge, she'll grow up. Well, damn. Mm. Let's hope so. I mean, geez. Does that mean intruder? You don't want to go. It's going to be March, isn't it? I mean, but what does that mean for her? Like, they got to give her up, don't they? Excuse me? Oh, wait, 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 wait. her father
You've already been chosen. Oh. But that's not fair, though. I mean, she's just a baby. Y'all can't reselect a child. You're just filling her up just to kill her. This not cool. What the fuck? Mm mm. Basically. The baby. That's fucked up. Mm. March. So fucked up. Just to be born, just to die in the end. Like, I mean, she's only like, what, six, seven, eight? Like, damn. She's never going to see her family again. Mm -mm. Fuck you, bitch. Hmm? It's got to be a sign. Child, you better run like you stole something, please. <laughs> oh my god. God, she went fucking trip. He should be waking up by now, right? Oh my damn!
so are you gonna speak now? That's the girl, ain't it? Oh my god, Marge, you can't see that! <laughs> Reincarnation? That too? <laughs> you would really think you would say something to her! You perked up. What's wrong? You hungry? You hungry? <laughs> yeah, but do you want to slice it in half so that you can both share? Oh, damn! No, it's because he was just a dog not too long ago, but... <laughs> yeah, you might as well take them all. Baby, oh no, don't cry. Mm -hmm. Just stay up there in the tree and eat them there. Oh, oh damn, <laughs> he's so cute, though. You good now? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Go on. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Going. I'm taken. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, that's some that's a fucked up nightmare, boo boo. Oh honey. Oh So where'd she go? Oh, <laughs> it's like a last little puppy. <laughs> He's not gonna follow you, though. <laughs> Okay, I got a lot of fucking questions. Alright, so number one, biggest thing is, what the fuck type of community does March live at that they have to be sacrificed? Fucking kids gotta be sacrificed. And, and something tells me that th there's gonna be something to where March is going to be the one to end it. Maybe the other girl might get killed. The baby, her sister, something. I don't know, like... This is interesting, but I'm confused at the same fucking time. <laughs> like, oh my god. But for him to, you know, be reincarnated right then and there. And he, we're on episode two and he still doesn't speak. It's weird because I was expecting him now to speak. Like, you, we would have heard a nice sexy ass voice, but no, we ain't getting there yet. But something tells me there's going to be a point in time where he is going to learn how to speak. I don't know. I mean, yeah, like, March taught him, you know, arigato and such, but he needs more words. But it's so weird to see him die and then come back to life, like, no matter what, how many times. But, yeah, I got no clue what the hell is about to happen with this show. The fact that he got killed while walking and then reincarnated again, then got freaking mauled by a fucking bear. What? And she's still, it's just like no matter what they do, she's still going to die no matter what. And, it, and it's sad that they have this set out for any kid so that if someone else escaped and saved a child, 
they have a backup to their backup. And because the youngest is a baby, the baby can't say no for an answer. No matter what, that baby would get killed. And it's a lot of responsibility on March because it's like, if she doesn't do this, their village is just going to have to select up another child, which is the only two that they have left. I, I can't even imagine that. It's a lot of responsibility on her part, but she's just, she's still a baby herself. And even though she wants to grow up, and be an adult. Technically, right now, she's being an adult towards our main lead, um, who is reincarnated as the boy and such, even though he, he doesn't know anything. I mean, he went from being a, a freaking orb to a rock to a wolf and now a boy. And all he's been doing the whole entire time is walk, and then he dies, and then he comes back to life, like, either days or hours later, and, and then just continue so it just makes you also wonder what else is his purpose gonna be i mean he's learned i'm guessing it's gonna be like a learning experience on like every person who he meets because when he was a wolf and learning the lessons that the boy who he is now was teaching him now he's learning about you know um feelings and emotions and love and also sacrifice especially with march and the fact is that she is a noble sacrifice for her village, possibly. I'm not really sure. I, I know, like, probably by the time this show is over, there's going to be, like, a whole bunch of video essays on this. Because, I mean, this is only episode two, but this is a damn good show. And the journey that he's about to go on, I think, you know, it, I think this is going to change a lot of people in the way they look at life, possibly. Because, I mean, yeah, a couple of animes that I've seen in the past have done that for me. But I feel like this is about to go on a, a whole different level than like other types of animes that I've seen where it's like oh it's a little thing like here's a change here's like a different positive outlook on life and this is not this is about to be a whole different ball game I don't know what else, what else to say and what else is gonna happen with this series but really so once again I'm even more intrigued than I was last week because I want to see how this story ends for March specifically is she going to die or is she going to be able to escape this noble sacrifice that she has to make? She really has to make this big old grown-up decision at the age of six, seven, maybe possibly eight. And that is a little hard for a little girl like her. I, I can't imagine being in her footsteps and knowing that straight up someone tells you you're going to die. And there's nothing else you can do about it. And I just, oh god, that hurts so much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of Two Year Eternity. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode three. Bye, guys.